Okay, so I'm going to stay on this side and I want you to paddle really slowly. You just paddle like I showed you, but very slowly. And if I if I have to, I'll help you. So just look far away and we paddle slowly on both sides. That's okay, don't worry if it goes around, that's alright. By the end of today you'll be much better. So just keep keep paddling and it'll come round again. If the wind is affecting you, yeah. Yeah, just paddle but slowly. And then the other side. The other side. Both, you have to do both sides. Slowly, slowly, both sides. Same thing, the, the grip, the curve, reach forward, curve, then twist the wrist back. Now this one's ready. Slowly and gently, okay? Look where you want to go, so look at your son. And uh, do it gently and try and keep straight. So equally on both sides, very gentle. I'm going to show you how gentle you can be. The beginner's too, too strong, right? So very gentle, just like this. Very gentle. Focus on keeping it straight. And then forward on that side, both sides. Okay. Just gently, don't do it too strong. Okay, so you're, you're going to be out of the current, so if you look up at your sun now, you should manage to get up there. So just gently, gently. I go the boat always goes the opposite way. So if I pull this way, the boat goes the other way. If I pull this way, it goes the other way. It's always the opposite. Okay? And there's a delay. It's not like a car. It's not like it's not when you do when you do something there's a delay. It keeps happening, right? So for beginners they forget about the delay and that's the problem. So most people they see that they, they want to they correct but they overcorrect too much, right? Yeah, yeah. So this is normal. This is why I tell you to do gently, gently and get the idea. Now I'm gonna show you something else. If if you're going and you're going the wrong way and you want to turn, right? A rudder at the back, look at my front, I can change the angle of the front of my boat just from the back, right? So, and, and it works better if I'm moving, okay? So, so look at the back, I can switch it that way, but I can pull it back. So, this is the most efficient way to do it, right? So you can change the angle, okay? This is more efficient. And do both sides. See, if you do too much on one side, the boat keeps turning. And it's a delay. So when the boat starts to go, it keeps going. Which is tricky. Maybe you can explain better to your son that the delay. Uh, yeah. But anyway, um, so we'll do one or two more slow, and then we're going to do fast. It's okay. He's going to have a go first. Wait a minute. So you have to lean towards me slightly. Okay. Now let's see, we're going to turn into the current. Alright. Alright. Okay, we're in the current, and then we're going to reverse. We're going to go down with the current, and then we're going to turn around in a second. Alright. There we go. One leg, one arm. <laughs> okay, okay. This time we'll go further up. Okay. Right, relax. Everything's okay.
this time. Alright, good. The more you relax, the more fun you'll have. <laughs> Here, hold on a second. I'm going to show you the edge. You cannot put too much edge. So I'm going to exaggerate it, but if you, what you want to do is when you're sideways to the water, lift the edge, this is where the current is, and let the water go underneath. So, I'm going to exaggerate this. You cannot do it too much! <laughs> Excellent! That was, that was really nice, Charlie. Perfecto! Right? Yeah. It's always the same. Lift your upstream egg and the water goes underneath, no force. That's it, keep paddling at the end, keep paddling, keep paddling, that's you.